Sony provided details on their new 5v5 hero shooter, Concord, and it is absolutely getting raked over the coals for its DEI character design and pushing pronoun nonsense. Not to mention, it is an Overwatch clone. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. Roll this up over at thatparkplace.com, and you can already see the character designs are heavily, heavily influenced by DEI, thinking they literally created a playable tank, and of course, it is a fat black woman. I'm not sure who would play this character unless their skill set is absolutely far and away better than any of the other uh, tank-type characters. Uh, because this character is just absolutely just atrociously atrocious looking. It literally is like Lizzo with a with a suit of armor. It's, it's disgusting. Uh, but <laughs> let's get into this here. So after showing off some of the gameplay, Firewalk Studios is Kim Crines, who is the director of IP at the studio, revealed a number of the characters that includes one off Vale, Lennox, and more. Each of the characters that she shows off features the character's name its role, and then preferred pronouns. You can see it right here, one-off. He's an anchor, which I guess that's some kind of like support tank or something like that. I'm not sure. And then it has their preferred pronouns. Absolute nonsense. Just utterly ridiculous. It's a robot. A robot wouldn't have sex, wouldn't have a gender. Uh, it is a robot. It is an it. It is not a boy or a girl. That's just, that's not how it works. It's just ridiculous. Uh, we even have this this one here named Lark. You can see that it is a tactician role. And then there, the, where the pronouns are listed for all the other characters, it says undecided. So it's my opinion. They're clearly going to be talking about this stuff through the game's narrative. And while it is an Overwatch clone, this is what, uh, what is her name again? Uh, Crines. Yes, Kim Crines. This is what Kim Crines had to say about the game. She says every character brings their own unique personality skills and wide ranging perspectives to the crew. One, I think it's safe to assume that one of those wide ranging perspectives will be discussions on gender and sex. You just, you just know it's going to happen given the fact that we're already getting DEI character designs uh, like this. Uh, absolutely ugly. I mean, look at this thing. This robot is even ugly too. Uh, but she goes on and says this, every week when you log into Concord, you'll be welcomed with a new cinematic vignette that will give you a chance to see our characters off the job. They will feature ongoing narrative arcs that grow the characters' stories and relationships and unpack the broader Concord galaxy. So there you go. She's confirming that these vignettes that, you, that they will release every month will grow the characters stories and relationships i think it's very obvious that is indeed what they are going to do they're going to be discussing uh gender and sex and sexuality and all this stuff in a 5v5 hero shooter no one wants any of this stuff no one wants it shoved down the throat but sony continues to do this stuff all of these major uh, video game developers and publishers continue to push this stuff despite gamers rejecting it on all fronts, despite it being rejected on all fronts across all entertainment. No one wants this stuff. It does not sell. It loses you money, but they continue to do it because they want to control your mind. They want to make you slaves to their ideology, whether it is gender ideology, whether it is feminism, whether it is communism, whether it is socialism, whether it is Satanism, they want you under their control, they want to make you a slave, a mind slave. And we have these gaming journalists actually admitting that. But this stuff was just getting raked over the coals. Cabrutus Rambo, creator of the Sweet Baby Inc. detected Steam curator list, sniffed this out right away. He also has created his DEIdetected.com website. And he says, so the F robot has pronouns in the next Sony game. Okay, obviously disgusted by <laughs> by this. We've got uh, Mango Lawyer here saying, OMG, finally, literally a playable tank. Exactly. The character literally looks like 
a uh, transformer. It looks like she could transform into a tank. I, it's just ugly. We've got Endymion here. He says PlayStation Super Hero 5v5 PvP Shooter Concord is full of diverse character designs, and they even have their pronouns listed below their name. See top right. Who is this game for exactly? I've also seen some people pointing out, if we kind of look at the, the, the character list down here, there are not a lot of male characters in the game. Uh, I, I saw someone maybe pointing out that there might be three or four. Um, <clears throat> so even there, we don't have a lot of male characters that you can play uh, in the game. I think there's only um, maybe one or two that one would consider uh, white. <clears throat> so and then we go look at the comments here on the actual state of play video on YouTube that gamers are not interested in this. Uh, many of the, the top comments uh, basically roasting the game for uh, being an Overwatch or Valorant clone. They also uh, detailed the Marvel's Rivals uh, game, which is, is is basically Overwatch or Valorant with a Marvel skin, very similar to uh, to this game here, Concord. Uh, but you hear this person says, PlayStation should honestly just stop working on live service games. Concord Cinematic was giving me Guardians of the Galaxy vibes until they show it's a 5v5 shooter and all my interest went away. And if you watch the cinematic, it does look like a group of rogues uh, performing some kind of... Uh, um, mercenary mission where they're tasked to like get some kind of data and upload it uh, to their client. And they're having to compete with another kind of rival uh, group in that. And it looked like they were just going to be focusing on five characters and it could, it might've potentially have been a single player narrative uh, campaign, or maybe even some kind of like co-op or something like that. And then they re they revealed it was literally an overwatch or Va and Valorant clone. We've got this right here. Another person says this. Concord looks exactly like the kind of game I will never play. I am in agreement. I don't play these 5v5 shooters. I'm probably in the minority. I've never actually been interested in a lot of the uh, first-person shooter games. I've always liked uh, strategy role-playing and uh, RPG games and like RTS and things like that. Those are the types of games that I've always uh, gravitated towards. I've never was really into uh, the first person shooter stuff. I always felt like if I was going to, if I wanted to go shoot a weapon, I would just, I would just either go up to like my, uh, my grandfather's up in the woods and actually shoot, shoot one for real or go up to my cousins. Like I, I, I would just <laughs> if I wanted to shoot a gun. I could shoot a gun, <laughs> a real gun. Um, uh, something that I, I couldn't do in, in real life. So like the, the fantasy games, like Final Fantasy Tactics, et cetera that I always kind of uh, gravitated towards. Uh, uh, Unicorn Overlord is obviously like the top game I've been playing now, uh, really liking that. Um, so you, you can tell kind of that I like those kind of strategy RPG games. But anyways, we got this one here saying a 10 second countdown for a 30 second countdown is insane. Uh, I think that's just kind of referring to the, <laughs> to the opening. I, I hate that too, especially with movie trailers. They give you like, you are now watching this trailer. And it's like, duh, I clicked on the video. Like, that's, I know that's what I'm watching. Why am I getting a countdown to the countdown of the trailer? It's ridiculous. Uh, here's another one. Sony, understand we want games focused on single-player narrative and not multiplayer service games. I agree. I, I'm not against a live service single-player game. I think Genshin Impact, I think Honkai Star Rail do a really good job of that. Uh, I actually thought that's what the Marvel's Avengers game was going to be. You're going to be able to uh, have ongoing updates uh, for a game set in uh, in the Marvel world. And uh, that absolutely uh, was, I guess, kind of what they were trying to do, but they just did not execute it very well. So that's actually something I am interested in. Again, I've, al I've also liked playing MMOs where you, you do get updates uh, pretty regularly. Obviously, an MMO is a little bit different on how they monetize it. It's usually done through expansions uh, and big expansions to the game rather than ongoing updates every single month or so. Uh, here we go. This guy, this guy says Concord equal Valorant equal Overwatch. Nothing new here. Exactly. It's just a clone. Uh, Jason Brinkley here says Concord, a game nobody asked for and nobody will play six months post launch. That's probably an accurate prediction there. Anytime someone mentions 5v5 live service or battle pass, it's already a bad sign. Uh, like I said, I'm not against live service. I know that there's like this big kind of movement against it, but you look at some of the most popular games out there. They are live service. Helldivers 2 
uh, Sony reports it sold over 12 million copies. Clearly a live service game, extremely popular. You look at Genshin Impact, you look at Honkai Star Rail. Those games are uh, very popular because they they have good gameplay mechanics. They have good stories. They're constantly updating. They're focused on quality and they're not focused really on milking you for the most part. At least that's been my experience with Genshin and Honkai Star Rail. Uh, this uh, uh, Fluxy here says, why does the common sentiment held by many studios nowadays seem to be we need more Overwatch clones? Uh, I will say it's probably uh, very profitable. I would imagine that the monetization on that is really good. But again, the they have the market kind of uh, captured with uh, with Overwatch and Valorant. I'm not sure if there is room for uh, more of those more of those games. And when you oversaturate the market, I think it just kind of brings all of those uh, types of games down. Uh, because then you're kind of spreading out your user base. The match times aren't uh, as quick as they used to be because you just don't have as many people playing. And it just kind of hurts the overall uh, genre as well. And then we have uh, this person here, Gats and Guts, says the gaming industry condensed in one video. Souls likes games as a service, remix, ports. So not happy with anything that PlayStation revealed during their state of play. And then uh, this, uh, this person right here says, y'all spent an unnecessary amount of time promoting concord which they did they 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 showed a cinematic trailer then they did a breakdown from the people at firewalk studios discussing the game they showed gameplay uh that was probably the biggest portion of the state of play and uh i don't think that the amount of time they spent on it really convinced people uh, to get interested in it instead it looks like they almost did a bait and switch with the cinematic and then revealed that it was a 5v5 uh hero shooter and people were like ah this is not what i thought it was going to be based on the cinematic and that is why you cannot trust cinematics anymore but it's also why these uh video game companies literally try to sell their games on cinematics rather than gameplay i've wisened up to that uh, always look at gameplay first just to see how it is because when I enjoy a game now, it's 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 about the, the gameplay for me. And I really am against a lot of the overly complicated combat systems that a lot of these games uh, have been embracing now. They try they want to be something new and fresh. And what they end up doing is they just make it overly complicated, overly complex. And uh, it's just not something that I'm interested in when I'm just trying to play a game casually. I'm not in high school anymore. I'm not in middle school. I don't have as much free time as I used to. So I'm not I'm not practicing all the time. I'm not playing all the time and being able to kind of like compete competitively, which is what you really need to do. You need to have time in order to uh, compete in a lot of those games. Uh, we got more people here kind of lampooning the game. We want single player games with decent graphics and amazing narratives and gameplay, open source engines for modding, take risks like your predecessors, actually innovate instead of rehashing boring styles. We want to play finished games with no need for DLCs and definitely no microtransactions. So I, I agree most of what, what, what this player is saying here. I'm not against uh, rehashing uh, boring styles. Like I think Persona 5 is an excellent example of that very classic RPG turn-based combat was not trying to be overly complicated, tells a really good story. And the combat is, is simple. And there are some complexities uh, with the personas and things like that, that you can kind of really get into. Uh, but I think that works. Keep it simple, stupid K I S S it works in sports. It works in video games as well. Uh, I think when you have a combat system that is uh, tried and true, it, Stay with stick stick with it. Uh, the Concord cinematic was so bad. I'm never touching that game. That was my opinion as well. I was not interested in the cinematic. It just looked like modern day cringe. I know people were describing it as Guardians of the Galaxy, but it it was it felt like a uh, derivative of Guardians of the Galaxy. It was like a subpar uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. The interactions between the characters was just kind of. Uh, very weak and cheesy, and it just didn't feel uh, really well um, hashed out, for lack of a better term. Uh, we got uh, Joshua here. Joshua Thompson says, Dear Sony, the game says service model is not sustainable. We don't want 20 of them every announcement showcase. Can't you drop at least one or two quality single player experiences this generation? Ten pull experiences like you used to be known for. And then uh, Shiny Find literally just matter of fact, he says, 100% not interested in Concord. And that's exactly my sentiment as well. Clearly, a lot of other people agree with him. Over 1.4 thousand likes on that comment. 
Nevertheless, the game is expected to release globally on PlayStation 5 and PC on August 23, 2024. We will see how well the game does when it releases here in just a couple of months. My guess is it will be uh, dead on arrival or dead shortly after. I think we saw someone there saying it, uh, it would pretty much be dead after six months. I think it will probably go the way of Marvel's Avengers. Uh, but let me know what you guys make of uh, people roasting this game, its character designs, its gameplay mechanics, the, like the, just the way that they just, they chose to set it up. Uh, as a 5v5 hero shooter and this kind of uh, studios are literally just copying uh, Valorant and Overwatch now in order to try and uh, bilk uh, people's monies based on, I guess, the popularity of that type of game. Uh, but those are my thoughts. Let me know again, as I said, let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable to each other, but to always speak the truth.